In Mesa County, 911 services for all of the law enforcement, fire, and emergency medical system agencies are handled by a single call center called the Grand Junction Regional Communications Center. With the public launch of our text to 911 capabilities in 2015, the GJRCC is able to provide an additional option for people who are deaf, hard of hearing, or have a speech disorder. Text to 911 is also important in situations where making a voice call might be too dangerous or when a cell phone only has enough signal strength for a text and not a phone call. Because the GJRCC does not yet have the equipment to directly accept text calls, all text messages have to be routed to a call center in Larimer County first. They will then take the information you provide and call Mesa County 911. This can slow response time. There are other limitations to this process. 911 won't know your location unless you tell them, so you'll need to provide your address or location as soon as possible. Texting also takes more time than simply speaking the words and often contains typing errors, which the dispatcher will have to decipher. There are also additional delays when the text message is sent and received on both ends. When texting, there is another key component that is missing. That's because during voice calls, dispatchers also gather information by listening to the voices or sounds in the background and not just what the caller is telling them. They can also gauge a situation based on the stress level or voice control of the person calling. This can be critical during emergencies and can provide essential bits of information for first responders. At this point in this example, the text to 911 call is just shy of two minutes long. It will be another few minutes before the local dispatchers in the GJRCC are able to start sending help to the caller. That's why it's important to call if you can, but text if you must. This is Amber with Larimer County Sheriff's Dispatch. I'm calling because we're getting a text to 911. Okay, what's the address? The address given is help needed at 5555 Main Street. I have a lat long if you need. Okay, and what exactly is going on? Okay, and again, I can barely hear you. Is that better? Yes. Okay. And what's going on? Um, uh, we the text says uh, help five 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 Main Street belligerent drink man. So the belligerent male that's intoxicated. Yes, that's what we're gathering. Does he have any weapons? We have instructed the text. Um, that help is on the way. Um, they do not know the man. And they don't know the man? They are advising... Are there any children in the address? Let me get with my partner. Hold on just a moment. We will get that information. 3466, okay. 3486, I need you both to respond to a verbal disturbance 
5555 Main Street. Um, he's... The person texting says he's yelling at the top of his lungs, and it's not the first time I've seen this guy act this way. Caller's name, or texter's name, is Nate. What's the last name? We don't have a last name at this time. Okay, and what's the phone where they're calling from? Where they're texting you from? They are calling from um, area code 970 Yeah, there's this drunk guy that's at my house. He's yelling at my aunt. Okay, what's the address? 5555 Main Street. Is that a house or an apartment? It's a house. I'm over visiting my aunt. Okay, and who is it that's intoxicated yelling at the house? I don't know who he is. He, I think he works with my aunt. You think he works with your aunt? I think so. I've seen him before, but I don't know him. Does he have any weapons? Not that I can see. And he's just yelling and screaming? Yeah, he's pretty loud right now. He's getting in my aunt's face. Has it become physical at all? 3466, 3486, yet. I need you both to Are respond to a verbal disturbance. 555 Same Main now. Street. Are there any children in the residence? No, just us two, plus him. Okay, and where are you at right now? I'm currently in the bedroom. And where is he at? He's in the living room with my aunt. What's your aunt's name? 